Hey YouTube family, in this video we're going to go over crow pose. We'll go over the differences between crow and crane pose and then we'll talk about one leg crow A and B. I'm going to save side crow for another video where I talk about the sage poses because I do believe it is more alike those. Let's go over the differences between crow and crane. Bakasana, the Sanskrit, simply means crane. Crow is kind of like this bent arm version of it, which some people also refer to as kakasana. But know that crane pose or bakasana is the one when your arms are straight or a three quarter bend and you're trying to get your knees nice and high above the elbow, maybe even into the armpits. Crow pose is more of a arm balance where you're squeezing the isometric of the knee onto the elbow. So they are a little different and they will come into play as we do the variations. So let's begin with crow pose, the bent arm version, which is the more popular arm balance seen in yoga today. If you're not familiar with hand balancing and distributing the weight in general, I suggest you check out my previous video about hand balancing versus arm balancing, where I explain that in more detail. So the bent arm version is gonna just simply be like chaturanga. I'm gonna take my arms down, I'm gonna line up elbow over wrist like we talked about, and then I'm gonna take my knee and stack it above my elbow. I am gonna stay in a nice, you know, three quarter arm bend, but a heavy lean pretty much on my knees. I'm leaning into the isometric, I can take one up and then both. And like I talked about, right, that palmer flexion. So the idea that your hands are flexing down, I'm exaggerating it a little bit, right? You come up onto it. And it's not like you'll be able to do this right away where I'm coming back and forth. I'm just explaining or showing you how much power is required to really hold yourself up. Just like my ankles right now are working ankle plantar flexion as I stand here or sit here in this light kind of squat. I'm not just relaxed, I'm resisting the floor to maintain balance. So that's basically crow pose, right? Chaturanga arms, elbows over wrists, find the balance, hand balance, and then coming down. So the crane version, what's the big difference? Well, it comes down to compression. And that's where most people just don't have the flexion in the hip yet or enough of a forward fold. So let's go over the main difference, knee to armpit. So what I could do is I can create this nice tight hip flexion, belly to thigh, and I'll try to align my knees as close as I can into my armpits. Now, if you can't do this position, you're not gonna be able to do the crane variation. Once I'm here, heels are high. Notice I'm leaning. Tippy toes, elbows over wrists. I find palm reflection, real powerful. There we go. And I'm just holding it tight, squeezing it in. And you see how far forward I really need to be to express this position. Let me try it on another little angle. And so if I come into the position here, lifting high, knees into armpits, or finding a fold, right? Knee into armpit first. Without that, I'm gonna lose it. See how I create that chaturanga arms? And then there we go. And that is a tough arm balance, way different than the crow version. Now let's talk about the one leg versions. So the one leg versions have to do with more strength. There are two versions, A and B, or one and two. One does require more strength than the other, right? One is more like a vertical, and the other one is more like a low hanging kind of um, lower center of gravity, let's say. So let's start with the easier one because uh, why not? This one is more like crane. It does require more of that compression in the body. So one leg crow is very similar to crow. 
All right, I could take the knee nice and high on the one side, the best I can like that crane, All right? Find it, pull the foot up, and then the other leg comes out. All right, so it's kind of like I'm up here, but I'm out. All right, another way to think about this is you can uh, come into a lunge. All right, you can take your arm underneath and kind of hand underneath the heel. Keep that heel lifted. Set up, crawl on one side, and then try to lift it out. See, I can get a little higher in that version. I like that entry better. Personally, it just works better for me. Let's try it again on the other side. All right, I'll find the lunge. This is B, by the way. One leg crow B, Ekabata Bakasana, B or two. Heel lifts, take my arm underneath the best I can. Notice my hands underneath the heel. Sit up crow on the other side, and then the foot. And just do my best. All right, take a small break. Get ready for Ekapata Bakasana one or A, which is really the hardest. And why is that? Because this one requires an intense amount of power by holding that diagonal. It's almost like holding a handstand push-up with an isometric in the leg. So let's go into it. I'm gonna come into that bent arm version. I'm gonna take my knees above my elbows, All right? Once the legs come up, I'm gonna choose a side. And then the other side, I'm gonna extend. Now I'm leaning heavier to the one side. As I come down, I lean other side. And I did have a little more of a vertical there. I like to have more of a um, leveling off horizontal. So let me try it again with a little more effort. All right, so I'm gonna come up, I'm gonna extend. There we go. And then I'm gonna look forward. Then I might come in, extend. All right, I'll try to extend and look forward. There we go. And that's a little more of the shape that I think I was looking for. Hopefully we'll see that in the replay. Okay, and let's show that one leg crow from the front just so you can see what's happening in the lean. I'm gonna take my knees right high onto the elbow the best I can. Once I'm in crow, notice, all right, the leg is a little to the side. I change it, all right, and I'm leaning towards that isometric. So as you can see, these poses are tough and they require a lot of strength. The first one with the bent arms, not so much, right? You can cheat that a little bit. But once you learn how to get towards the straight arms, building strength in the wrists, eventually coming into the versions of one leg A and B, that's where you're gonna to have to work on more of that transitional power and shifting the weight with control. Those are just more complex and advanced. Take your time, learn things step by step. I'm Jeffrey, this is Yoga Framework. Thanks for watching, have a great day.